There's nothing for Paimon to do here! So boring. Oh, how Paimon longs to stretch her legs and run free in the world outside again! Oh, all right, fly free then. Basically, Paimon just wants out of here. Just a day? No, it feels like we've been down here for months. Uh, maybe not months, but at least like 20 days, surely. Yo, yo, thought I heard you chatting over here. Oh, hey, Bullchucker. Well, everyone, I just completed another survey of the surrounding area. Still nothing has changed today. Here, have some water and take a rest. Thank you, Shinobu. <sighs> it's easy to forget to keep hydrated down here. Ugh, out! I want out! All I want is to cruise the streets and have beetle fights again. Boss, remember there's your image to consider. But it's so boring. Walking around this hole every day, I, if only I could slurp some ramen and see the beautiful flowers again. Ramen? Wait a minute. Speaking of ramen, Traveler, are you hungry? I'm not hungry either, but let me pose the question this way. Who is the biggest eater among us? It's definitely not me. Hey, what's everybody looking at me for? Well, it's definitely not me. If anyone, it's this one right here. Huh? What are you looking at Paimon for? Paimon, are you hungry? Um, no. Paimon's not hungry. Why do you ask? Huh, if that's the case... Huh? What, 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 what am I missing here? Yes, I heard that too, as I was walking over. The question is, how can you not feel hungry, even after 20 days? That's also strange. Of course, everyone has different perceptions of the passage of time, but how could one person feel like it's only been one day and someone else 20 days? Yeah, now that you mention it, I feel like we've been here three, four, five days, but I don't feel hungry or thirsty at all. Although I cooked some food, it wasn't because I was hungry. I just wanted to keep our spirits up. I was planning on saving our rations so we could survive a few more days, but I haven't really felt hungry since. Now that I think about it, not only am I not hungry, but I don't feel any real signs of fatigue either. Whether I sleep or not doesn't seem to have any effect on how I feel. Yes, I concur. Resting doesn't make me feel more refreshed, and staying awake doesn't make me any more tired. Very peculiar. It's almost as if our physical state has been suspended. Oh, the more you say, the scarier it sounds. Paimon doesn't even want to think about it. Huh? What's wrong, Traveler? Did you think of something? That's pretty weird. Sounds like the little dude must be in danger. But he is an Adeptus. This kind of situation should be no trouble for him. I fear that this problem underground is bigger than we thought. I found something, everyone. I just discovered a new path over there that seems to lead to an unknown area. You mean a way out? Oh, finally! Yay! You found something! Oh, please, please be the exit! I still suspect things can't be that simple. We should all stay prepared for whatever comes. Huh? Paimon doesn't see anything out of the ordinary here. Appearances can be deceiving. As I was examining the wall just now, I noticed there was something unusual about this stone. Seems to me that it's been created using some illusory magic. Hidden behind it lies a passageway. Whoa! So there really is a path behind here! Gotta hand it to ya. That sure wasn't easy to find. But at least we can finally get out of here. Miss Yelon's determination and eye for detail are certainly impressive. Not to mention, you've hardly had any rest the whole time we've been trapped here. It doesn't matter. I'm not tired. <sighs> well, given we're already here, we might as well go in and explore. Right behind 
Ninja. Paimon can't wait to get out of this place. Lucy, is that you? Hey, did anyone else just hear that voice? It sounded super creepy. No. This would hit me. Top fight. Is some sort of battle taking place here? I wonder who could be involved. No, if you're still alive, why would you become like this? I won't attack you. That sounds like Shu. Could he be in trouble? Whoa, sounds like someone forgot to invite us to the fight. Let's go and help him. Yeah, but how are we gonna find him?
that little dude called Xiao down there? We gotta help him! Hold on. Something's not right here. What's this? It appears to be a small fissure. What can you possibly find inside? It can't be a living person, can it? <laughs> <laughs> Conqueror of demons? Xiao, is that you? Uh, oh, I quit trying to scare us, okay? Huh? Wait, is this some kind of illusion? Paimon can't touch him! Conqueror of Demons, can you hear us? Hello! Little dude! Anyone home? He isn't responding. What's going on here? You... Oh, he finally said something! Oh! We followed your voice and found you here, but... It's kind of strange. We can't touch you. How did you become an illusion? <sighs> an illusion? Talk about a coincidence. We were just thinking you went missing and stuff, and, and then we heard the sound of you fighting. Pretty lucky we found you, if you ask me. <laughs> you didn't get hurt, did you? A coincidence? Wait. Something's not right. <laughs> Something's wrong with this domain! Leave now! Get out of there! If he can, we should have him regroup with us as soon as possible. Tell us what happened and where you are now. We'll come find you immediately. No. Your safety is the top priority. It seems this space can... Huh? He disappeared. Where'd he go? Sounded like he might be injured. We need to go help him. It seems the only option we have to explore any further is through that entrance over there. Ha! <laughs> He's injured and telling us to be careful? It's not like we're in any danger here. Anyway, the secret behind whatever's going on should be in this cave, right? Don't worry, little dude. Ito's on the way! Boss, please don't go charging ahead. You're an Oni, not some hunting dog. Don't worry! I'm invincible! Oh, my butt. <sighs> Looks pretty deep. Be careful, everyone.
Tucker, how's your ear? It's fine. Ugh. My butt is tough. Go ahead. You can cry if it hurts. I promise I'll try not to laugh. What? What do you mean, try not to laugh? You should be feeling some serious sympathy for me right now. But wouldn't feeling sorry for you be a violation of your dignity? Besides, it's harder not to laugh when I'm not the one in pain. <laughs> Paimon, don't laugh! <laughs> it's okay, everybody. If you want to laugh at him, just let it out. Don't you have a heart, Shinobu? Oh, and people think I'm the monster. Wait a second. Shao's not here, but... Seems a little out of place here, don't you think? Maybe it's some sort of, uh, I don't know, an emergency shelter? There was a picture book I read once that said nice people sometimes build cabins in dangerous places so that anyone in trouble can take shelter inside. Our little dude must be inside then. Yeah! I wouldn't be too sure about that. Any person with a normal sense of danger wouldn't be so optimistic. Wow, Bullchucker! Looks like your subordinate is telling you what's what. Oh, I believe she was talking to both of us, yeah. So you can wipe that smug smile off your face. All right, watch and learn, Shinobu. This is why I'm the boss and you're the deputy. If no one is macho enough to open the door, then allow me. Step aside. Once this door's open, we are out of here. Ivaloni, be gone! You heard me! Get out of here! Uh, am I seeing things? Or was there someone behind the door? Nah, can't be. <laughs> You're just saying things. Why don't we just open the door again and see? Who? Uh, me? Oh, uh, <laughs> alright, uh, I'll open it again. All you do is goof around all day. You're a bad influence to our child. Be gone! <laughs> Those people are carrying bowls. Bowls full of beans. What's that all about? People throw beans to drive out Oni. Boss is an Oni, so they throw beans at him to get rid of him. Gave me the fright of my life. What are people from Inazuma doing in a place like this anyway? <laughs> Calm down now. You're a person from Inazuma too, you know. Hey, let's get one thing straight, all right? I'm not a person, I'm an Oni! Right, but that's not the point. The question is, does this door lead to Inazuma? Huh? How could that be possible? Ugh, this place is so weird! Paimon's starting to think it really is haunted! You guys go right ahead. I'm not opening it again. So, who's up? Oh, how about Paimon? Why don't you open it? No way! Somebody else do it! Paimon's scared! <sighs> Alright, I'll try. That's our Shinobu! Now, don't let whoever's behind that door push you around, okay? Alright, let's see what's behind the door this time. Still reading, Shinobu. Listen, young lady. You should keep your nose out of those books and start taking my advice. I've already found you a perfectly good job as a shrine maiden at the Grand Narukami Shrine. You'll be far better off there than... <laughs> uh, Shinobu? 
Who is that? No way! Was that who I think it was? Oh, this is embarrassing. That voice was my mother. This is one place I wasn't counting on having to hear that speech again. Your mother wanted you to become a Shrine Maiden? The whole reason I came to study in Liyue was because I didn't want to become a Shrine Maiden. My family never approved of my studies, so they wanted me to work in the Grand Narukami Shrine after I returned to Inazuma. From what we know about Lady Guji, it seems being a Shrine Maiden is a pretty cushy job. <sighs> Think of it this way. Some cats can be domesticated and kept in the house, while other cats are meant to survive in the wild. As for me, I need complete freedom and space. Although I do admit that being a Shrine Maiden is a decent job, it's just not for me. That's right, your calling is with the gang. I mean, just look at you! You rock! You're totally hardcore! Come on, am I the only one with chills right now? It's true. You've got a good thing going. What's most important is that you enjoy what you do. Gotta agree with you there. From the look of it, what's behind the door can change. And not only that, it always changes to something that nobody wants to see. So, uh, how are we gonna get through that? And don't forget, we have that little dude waiting for us to save him. We need to get our rear in gear. Would any of you like to give it a try? Mm, no thanks. I'd prefer not to open it if only something terrible awaits. If anyone's going to find a way through, it's not going to be me. Uh, why? Because I don't buy it, that's why. I don't believe for one second that we're gonna find the Conqueror of Demons by going through that door. So I'm sure as heck not gonna be the one to get us through. Not gonna lie, uh, you don't really sound like you have much of an imagination. Alright, I'll try. Yeah, my savior, show him what you're made of! I'm sure I probably do, but nothing springs to mind right now. Anyway, I suppose I'll find out once I open the door. You old geezer. Out of eight pounds of salt, today you gave away three for free, sold two, and exchanged three for booze. How much money did you actually make in the end? Huh? But didn't you tell me to sell things as I pleased? Why can't I give the customers something for free? You fool! You told the old man next door to come and fetch the salt. Well, he broke his leg on the way over, and now his son is asking for compensation. Seriously. God. Huh. huh. A civil dispute. Didn't see that coming. Who are they? <sighs> no one in particular, but it is a prime example of the many difficult civil cases that I've had trouble handling before. Hmm. So you mean you don't like handling disputes over petty matters? Not exactly. What I mean is that I don't like working with people who cannot let go of trivial grievances, especially of the kind you saw just now. They start with good intentions, but end up making a big fuss. It's not long before those good intentions plunge into injury and accidents. <sighs> it's always a shame. It's my desire to solve problems for people. That's why I became a legal advisor. It just seems that I still can't fully comprehend the complicated minds of some people. <sighs> I understand what you mean. The human mind is probably both the most complicated and tragic of things. I suppose there's no need to discuss this any further. <laughs> Does anyone else want to try the door? Don't look at me. I told you, I'm not taking a chance with that thing. Come on, Yelon. We're a team here. If you're not gonna try, then at least give us a convincing reason why. <sighs> In that case, let me be perfectly clear. I serve Ningguang, the Tianxuan of the Qixing. The scope of my work includes some of Liyue's biggest secrets. The chances are, if I open this door, there can be no witnesses left alive. Is that a sufficient reason for you? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, sounds, sounds impressive. Um, hey, Shinobu, uh, who's Ningguang? She's someone who won't let you walk out of the chasm alive if she finds out that you're prying into her secrets. Boss, you really do need to work on learning who's who in the world these days. Look, I knows what I needs to knows. It's called being a free Oni. Oh, now 
Paimon gets it, Yelan works for Ningguang. <laughs> yes, which is precisely why I was trying to keep her secret. <laughs> we should avoid letting Yelan open this door. What about you, Traveler? Would you like to try? Yeah, go for it, Traveler. Besides, you never know who could be behind that door. Maybe it could even be Shell. I say give it a shot. Who knows? Maybe little dude is waiting for us on the other side. Find anything, traveler? So, did you find the person we want to rescue inside? Judging by the look on your face, I'm guessing you saw something a little unpleasant in there. Pieces. If Paima wasn't feeling so exhausted, she'd help out too. <sighs> hey, what is this? Nap time? <sighs> <sighs> so let me get this straight. Not only did we not find Xiao through that door, we saw all the things that we wish to avoid. I'm starting to have a very ominous feeling about this domain. It's constantly changing, and its changes seem to be targeted at us. Huh? What do you mean? I feel the same way. We need to watch our every step. There is definitely more to this place than meets the eye. I concur. We came here following the Conqueror of Demons, but we ended up only finding a strange door. The things we've encountered on the other side of that door are equally strange. It shows us whatever we fear the most. We're in a space that defies common logic. <sighs> on top of that, I'm starting to feel tired after that experience. But I thought we'd established that getting tired doesn't happen down here. The phenomenon hasn't reached a lethal stage just yet. Otherwise, we would have starved to death without eating for so long. I'm starting to worry that we're being affected by the changes in this space. In order to avoid the sudden accumulation of hunger and fatigue, we should eat and rest regularly from now on. <sighs> Paimon suddenly feels exhausted. It's really tiring going through all this. Now that you mention it, I'm starting to feel tired too. <sighs> No, 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 it's all just an illusion. I will not let my mind play tricks on me. <sighs> Paimon's whole body just feels so heavy now. Hmm. According to the current evidence, it seems our physical condition was suspended in this space before, which granted us immunity to the effects of fatigue and hunger. 
And now it seems that mental fatigue is unavoidable. Though we have yet to locate the Conqueror of Demons, I suggest we go back and get some rest. It'll be difficult to rescue anyone if we're on the verge of collapse ourselves. She's right. Hey, Lavender Melon. You okay? Want me to carry you?